Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was far and away the best player I ever played against. The sky hook was unstoppable. Kareem was throwing that sky hook from, <laughs> from everywhere on people. Yeah, from the free throw line, from the deep in the corners. He could shoot it on the sides, in front of the basket, you know. Uh, and once he started to turn and had his body between you and the basket, there's no way to block that shot. No one had the size of Kareem, the athletic lift of Kareem. You know, the greatest offensive weapon ever unleashed, you know, in the NBA. This is just unstoppable. And man, we were seven foot two, seven foot three. And when he rolled across the middle with that, that magnificent hook, it, it was, no one could, no one can block it. It's like a, almost like a boxer with a big right hand. You know it's coming. Uh, you've been thinking about it. You've been focusing on it all day. And then once he gets you in the right position, there's not much you can do about it. I started working on the hook shot probably when I was in the fifth grade. But one of the things they noticed was I was the tallest kid in class and I would probably play center. So they showed me at one point the George Mikan drill. Once I'd go just back and forth, right to left, right in front of the hoop using the glass. And uh, you know, you really developed the footwork and how to shoot the ball off the backboard. A kid moved into my neighborhood who thought he was a pretty good basketball player. And we were out at the park and he, he challenged me to play one-on-one. -on -one. And I, I beat him, you know, and he was older than me. He said, you know, I, I can play pretty even, but I can't deal with that hook shot. So, you know, when I was in grade school, I, I knew it was a, a good tool to use uh, on, on the court. The Skyhook and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the game's most identifiable scoring weapon incorporated by the league's all-time leading scorer. From high school dominance at Power Memorial in New York City to collegiate excellence at UCLA to the top of the NBA's record book, Abdul-Jabbar cherished his skyhook like a shepherd cherished his flock. Day after day, year after year, victory after victory. Oscar Robertson throws to Kareem. Seven seconds. Finkel, the sky oh! Kareem with a big pressure shot. Ford sends it to Kareem. Sky hook up and good. Lakers win. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Was it impossible to stop? Uh, no. But pretty close. Once he made that move and he put that left foot down, whether he was on the right side of the basket or on the left side of the basket, it didn't make a bit of difference. I don't care how good you were defensively, you were not going to block that shot. I don't recall ever being blocked by somebody who's guarding me. If I knew where someone was, that person wasn't going to block that shot because I'd always get my body in between them and the ball. Manute Bowl was like four inches taller than me and I, I shot a number of them on him and made them without him blocking it. And, and he was he was a good shot blocker. Wilt was pretty good too. Wilt tried to time it and, and jump. he could really leap. But he just couldn't get there in time. It's, it's impossible because when you shoot it, you force people to wait for you to go up. And if they wait until I started to go in and shoot it, then they have to judge the distance and time it, and it's gone before they can catch up to it. One point shy of becoming the leading scorer in NBA history. And the crowd is pulling for Kareem on this time down. Yes! I remember, it's, wow, it's, it's over. Finally got over the hump. It was quite a couple of months leading up to it. I, I, I was having dreams about it at, at a certain point. I was in a long distance race with Will Chamberlain, and I, I was trying to pass him in, in a foot race, literally. You know, I, I had a dream like that. Abdul Jabbar continued to take and make hook shots until his 1989 retirement. 20 years later, he maintains his spot at the top of the list of all time scorers in league history. His trademark skyhook, on the other hand, is at the top of nobody's list. 
The hook shot is a lost art because most players today can't shoot a hook shot. I watch guys try. Greatest shot that we've ever seen in professional basketball is the sky hook. Uh, to this day, I don't understand why we don't see more players developing this when they're seven feet tall. For the basic fundamental skills, the basic ability to shoot left and right hand, the basic ability to shoot a hook shot, gone. There's not as much development with big guys in terms of handling the basketball or shooting um, so I don't think there's as much coaching of the hook shots or all the different kind of a shot uh, for big men. When we draft somebody, we bring somebody in, I talk to him in terms of every single day, you should shoot a couple hundred hooks right hand and left hand every day, only if you want to make tens of millions of dollars. But if you don't want to make tens of millions of dollars, just do what you're doing. Some young guys think that it's you know, so old school that they don't want to you know, learn how to use that move, but um, I think if they also do the research efficiency of, of that move, they probably would want to learn it. Abdul-Jabbar, this guy. Very rarely do you see anybody take a sweeping hook shot anymore. It's just not thought of as a cool thing to do. Nobody wants to really be that traditional back to the basket, you know, kind of head fake, jump hook type of player. And it really isn't sexy to most big guys anymore, to tell you the truth. But it, it is it's probably one of the toughest, best moves that you can have as a big guy. I think that a lot of times people don't want to shoot it because it is Kareem's shot and they, they want their own thing, you know, the jump hook's not anybody's, you know, no one, you know, everybody can shoot that, but when you shoot that sky hook, it's Kareem's sky hook, it's not, it's nobody else's. When I was growing up, we all, all of us wanted to do that sky hook just like him. I admire the shot, you know, I think it's, I think it's hot, you know, uh, it might not look as good as any uh, fadeaway or, you know, uh, one of those Hakeem shakes, but, you know, I like it. I don't know if it's going to make a renaissance. I, it, it's, uh, it's gone the way of high top shoes, you know. It's, uh, <laughs> you try and defend somebody that's in the post uh, with their back to the basket and you're behind them. You can't stop a hook shot. Still, at this point in, of the history of the game, it, it's still effective if you know how and when to use it. I used it to become the, the leading scorer in the history of the NBA. It, it, there has to be something about it that works. 